outside of this neighborhood. And so right now, there's going to be transition, but the kids that have been recruited here, they understand what Mountain is. And so, you know, having them push, that hasn't been a problem. You know, it's really just little things, little, I mean, we're going to a very advanced detail. Right? Make sure everything's good. None of things matter at the end of the game. So, um, that's been our emphasis. But, you know, he sets the standard, and it's a great standard. And right now, everyone's going to stop. And if they're not, we're going to make sure they know. And that also goes for us to just do as well. I'm pretty excited with what you have personnel wise, obviously. It's a pretty good tight end. This one coming off an injury, but a good body. I mean, Giovanni got a lot of. Uh, playing time last year. Yes, you know, been on the job for a week. Monday was my first day, and I was doing HR all day, and, and it's been recruiting and giving other guys. And honestly, the thing is, there was a little, there was a cup. I watched tape on our guys, and I really watched. I haven't talked to anybody that was here because I, I wanted to form my own. And uh, watching our guys from top to bottom, every single one of them, um, and then watching them work out, watching them work out, and also the program. We have some ability, you know. Now it's uh, now it's fitting, all right? And that's what we're going to do is We're going to get away here the next couple of days and go into our, kind of a lockdown mode and define, okay, this is what we've done in the past. This is who we have. What do we want to be this year? What do we think we'll be going into spring ball? And then coming out of spring ball, we'll assess where we're at and what we have and what they can do. Because at the end of the day, we got to do what our kids do best. It's not about us. It's about them. And, uh, but we have some, some good-looking bodies in that room. Um, we need to keep adding some more depth. We need to recruit some more um, because we need to, we just need more of those type of bodies. But uh, we do have some guys that have some talent. So I'm, I'm reserving any kind of judgment call or prediction or anything until I get out on the field and work with them. Because we, you don't know what you got to get some adverse situations. You know, uh, and you get out there on the grass and start coaching them. But I am excited because they've all done everything I've asked them to do so far. Uh, and they've all been very receptive and they're all been really so, but physically off the hook, they do need to work. He's, you know, our whole family's pretty excited. My dad uh, was actually in town yesterday, walked him through and kind of showed him, you know, what's new, this team room, the uh, the new train table we have and weight room. And so when we get, but it's, it's fun because now my grandma turned 93 on Saturday. And we just hopped in the car, drove about 20 minutes to Preston County, Mason Town, and got to see her and I can go see her whenever I want now, you know? And uh, just, just to be able to do that and, and have my children grow up around their family and, and my wife's family. My wife's from, you know, Sa you know Salem, West Virginia, down Dodge County. And, and uh, just to be able to have that experience. I mean, my kids are four and two, and they know the worst country roads. I mean, and that's not because I got the job. They've known it for since we could teach them, you know. And that's just when you're a mountaineer, you want once mountaineer, always mountaineer. And that's just what you do, you know. And so we are tickled to death, everyone in the family, especially dad. You know, for me to be able to have an office in the same building he had an office in, I mean, you can't put a price tag on that. I mean, it's, it's, it's always been a dream of mine. And to be able to live it out, you know, it's exciting, but there's also a, uh, you know, there's an expectation. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, we're going to work our rear ends off to make sure we get this thing where it needs to be. You get into this profession, you know you're going to make a number of stops. Was it always a goal to get back here? I mean, you never know when the opportunity will happen. All right. but Quick story on this. All right. So, I'm not going to say it was my, there's a, uh, so financially, there's this thing that we, we have our money in. And, uh, and uh, so, you have security questions. Okay. And uh, this is back. So, one security question is what is your dream job? <laughs> right here. So there's one, there's one of the answers right there. And that's been the case since 2011, you know, when we created that thing. But it's, unless, when you go to school here, if you're from here, it's like any guy like myself, Jamile, all of our buddies are out coaching now. I mean, you've got, you know, Darren Justice out of UNLV. There's countless others. I know John Payton's down in, in the Mount East. I mean, there's guys all over. I'm leaving people out. This is always the job. It's not a job. This is the job. So, it, you know, this is always the goal. And and, uh, and and that's just what this university does to you when, when you go here. It is home. And um, so the fact to be here, I mean, I, I hope I don't have to go anywhere else. Other than the fact now you've got to change that password. 
No, that, <laughs> that, was that wasn't a password. It wasn't yeah. a password. Oh, okay. It wasn't a password. It was just a question. We weren't worried about it. Just a question. No, no. We already dealt with that identity theft before, but no. And that was, that was just, you know, me and my wife joked about that the other day because she was trying to get into something. She said, oh, how about this? So, But uh, no, that's definitely not the password. When you were here before, you probably had more responsibility as a student assistant and then GA and everything than any other person in your position in the first. How much did that help push your career along I think? Well, you know, whenever you go back and you're just and you're you always go back and wish you got more out of what you did. I always wish I got more out of this experience and then even like when I GA that Alabama and uh, and Florida State, because when you get older, you just become more mature, and that's what you do, right? And uh, but when I was here, the, the great experience about here was, you know, you know, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to play. And if I did, it would be a holder or anything like that. So I wanted to start coaching. I knew I wanted to coach. So Coach Rodriguez gave me that opportunity. You know, I told his dad that, that, that actually going into my senior year, I said, hey, I want to coach. He got mad. Because he thought, well, you ain't riding my coattails. If you want to do it, we're going to find out if you want to do it or not. So I had to go talk to Coach Rodriguez myself. He didn't prep him or anything. So I went in there, talked to him, and he let me come out as a student coach, worked two years on defense coach for lab and two years on offense. And what it did for me was it made me grow up pretty quickly because it was a fine line. I was living with the players, hanging out with them. Those are my friends. But then I'm coming in staff meetings discussing personnel issues, topics. So it's a fine line to walk at that age as a freshman. And uh, and, and then through those four years. But what it did is it, it showed me how I needed to grow up, how I needed to like, separate church and state a little bit. Um, but it, the experiences to be able to, you know, like to be a part of those games and listen to the thought process. I mean, like when we decided to go for the fake and the Sugar Bowl and how that came up, and then you know, just the discussion of like in Louisville when uh, when Adam went down and Pat went in the game. That game single handedly changed my your history for forever. Uh, you know, it's it's just to be part of that and listen to the dynamics of it, and then also the changeover stuff so where like you know when. You know, we had Pack and Chris and all those guys, and then and then moving on to the new group, and just to all those dynamics. You learn so much through experience. Same thing we did in Alabama, going through the. I was there the one season they didn't win ten games. I was there that first season, but but to to see the change over and see what had Coach Saban had to do to implement what he wanted done. Um, you know, and just to, and with Coach Fisher and transitioning from Coach Bowden to Coach Fisher, just you know, you witness all those things and you learn from them. And so, uh, you know, it, it 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 was a, it was definitely a step that got me started on the path that I am now. You said that you knew you wanted to 